In terms of what readers can expect from Chain of Thorns, Chain of Iron ended on a lot of cliffhangers. We had Cordelia running off to Paris with Matthew. We have Lucy escaping to Cornwall with Jesse. Everybody's relationship is up in the air. And there's also the question of what is going on with Belial and Tatiana. So I think with Chain of Thorns, we can look forward to picking up exactly where the previous book left off. We're going to catch up with all of the characters, see where they're at, what they're doing. And they're gonna be drawn pretty quickly into another adventure as Belial makes his last desperate attempt to possess James and control London, control the world, defeat the Shadow Hunters. And so we're gonna see what our group of heroes and heroines are going to do to try to prevent him. So expect a lot of magic, a lot of romance, a lot of adventure and danger. So what I usually like to go on a research trip to London when I'm working on a book that's set in London. At this time, it was really difficult because of the pandemic. I was working on Chain of Thorns at home. I was alone, really there was no travel, but as soon as I possibly could, I did go to London and I checked out some of the places that uh, various scenes are set and made some specific trips to figure out if you could get from point A to point B in a certain amount of time. It was the first place that I went when I was able to travel again and I really enjoyed it. It was delightful to be back in London and so good to be able to walk in the footsteps of the Last Hours characters again. Do I have a favorite character from The Last Hours? That's always hard because I tend to love all of the characters. I really love Cordelia. She's brave. She's stubborn. I love Lucy. She's a writer like me. And I love all of the, you know, way that she channels her feelings through books. James is smart. He's clever. He's determined. Thomas is loyal. Christopher is brilliant. Matthew is so vulnerable. Anna is so charismatic. So I think I have to say that one of the things I really like about Chain of Thorns is that in The Last Hours, the characters all sort of work together as an ensemble in that they've known each other all of their lives and they kind of create sort of one character that I like to call Team Good. And I would say that that's probably my favorite character is all of them together. So people ask a lot if they're going to get to see the characters from the last hours again, or maybe their children. I mean, I like to say never say never. It'd be fun to do something involving the children of the last hours characters in, say, you know, the roaring 20s when they're adults. So uh, that would be a lot of fun. But the only definite plan I have is that one character I would like to do a series of short stories about, a bit like the Bane Chronicles or Tales from Shadowhunter Academy. And I can't tell you who that character is yet because it would spoil who survives Chain of Thorns, but hopefully it's a character people will be excited to see more from.